Good evening, Internet. Welcome back to another night of Strange and Scary Games. I'm Om, that's Aldous, and I have already recorded this introduction before, so this is a re-recording of uh, introduction for Fears to Fathom. Um, girlfriend and I are still working on observation duty. Uh, I have my footage recorded. I have her footage uh, for the hospital, uh, but I haven't had any time to edit them. Um, I'm still waiting for her to record the other levels, but as soon as she does, uh, I'll go ahead and edit them. Uh, hopefully I'll get them up next week. Uh, I was at a conference. She was moving. Uh, I was helping her move. So the last two weeks I've just been really busy and haven't had any time to record or edit. Uh, so I'm going to put up Fears to Fathom this week. Uh, hopefully if I have time to uh, edit everything, it should just be every day this week. There's a video. Um, if for some reason there's a gap, it's just because I've gotten busy with work or something. Um, so yeah, that's how it is. Uh, I hope that you guys enjoy Fears to Fathom, and hopefully I will get Observation Duty up for you next week. Um, I'm just going through the easy or the normal mode of Observation Duty uh, next week. Uh, and then the week after, I'll be doing the hard mode for Observation Duty. Uh, my plan is to 100% Observation Duty, so I hope that you guys are looking forward to that. Um, and then after that, I received a, an email from a developer by the name of Perspectic, uh, who asked me to check out their game, Wreck Paroxysm. Uh, so that will be the week after. Um, for October, the plan is to do a bunch of survival horror games. Um, I have a few picked out. Uh, please, if you have one uh, that you would like to see, let me know. Um, and I'll try to get around to recording that one as well. Thank you. Uh, I hope that you guys enjoy the video. And I will toss you back to past Andrew. Home alone. Fears to Fathom, Episode 1, Home Alone, July 12th. I didn't want to put this up on Reddit just for it to be called a piece of fiction. I don't even know where to start. Excuse my lack of good storytelling skills. I guess I'll just start. It was the middle of summer. My parents had left for what for that weekend due to a work trip, which meant I was all by myself for the weekend. Also, I feel like I do have to mention that my sleep schedule is really messed up around this time. It happens. I would sleep and get up at just about any time of the day. Though I did plan on fixing that. I woke up around 8 after a nap that evening. Uh, what? what's happening? Oh. So my character collider doesn't like the space. That's what's happening. What is this? Hmm. I did have homework that night, but I was too hungry to do it right after waking up. Uh, escape to read text messages. 
Uh, Mom, wait, when are you guys going to be back? Dad and I are going to be back on Monday, honey. Honey, didn't I tell you that yesterday? Cool. Take care, honey. Sleep on time. I hope you get the Xbox like you promised. I mean, if you get that discount. Can I invite Mason and Josh over for the night for homework? Of course you can. Call me if you need anything. Make sure to check it's them on the door before opening it, though. Uh, check through the blinds. Take care, honey. Sure thing, Mom. Dad and I may be back on Sunday evening. Why are you being so paranoid, Mom? I'm 14. I think I'm going to take a little nap. Probably going to order some pizza. Yes. No need to order anything. Already made you lasagna this morning. Check the fridge. Uh, Mason. Yo. Yo. You coming to Jessica's tomorrow? Yeah, heard Josh was coming too. What about you? I decay. What's wrong? Where are you going to see her today? She didn't show up. It's like I don't even matter to her. You matter. Uh, I got an achievement for reading the chats. Uh, you matter, unless you multiply yourself by the speed of light squared. Then you're energy. I guess I'm energy then. How's Kim? Yeah, crap. I totally forgot. To, uh, I totally forgot. Probably going to do tonight. Lol, same. My parents are out for a night. Uh, Want to come over? We can play Mario Kart too. I'll let you know. Okay, call Josh too. Can't promise, dude. May have plans with Nat. Uh, right? What am I doing? Oh, you can peek out the blinds. That's kind of cool. Is there... Don't ask me why, but I went straight to my parents' room. Uh, hi there. Is there nothing to do in here? Guess not. Is he still out there? I don't see him. Uh, needed to warm the food up. Uh, food was cold. Ch uh, chalky pick? Did that say G to throw? What would I want to throw? Uh, food was already warm. Uh, okay. Is there like a table? Am I just going to eat a whole lasagna? Uh, there's somebody walking up the stairs. Uh, I guess I'm just going to keep eating a whole lasagna. I was already feeling very sleepy after eating the food. Is that...
Uh, we're going to have to call it off, man. Something just came up. But you got to come to Jessica's tomorrow. Uh, sink. Remember, I had to finish up on my homework. Why does it say G to throw? What am I supposed to be throwing? I'm sorry, Miles. Got to see you tomorrow. Don't forget Kim, though. Chill out, dude. All good. I'll probably just go back to bed after Kim. Our parents' room apparently doesn't have any light. So we saw but we saw somebody on the stairs. Where did they go? Not hiding in our wardrobe. What is this bedroom layout? Is this a custom job? Close the door, please. Can we lock our door? Cannot. Uh. Twelve thirty-eight a.m. I got done with homework for the day in about a few hours. Why is it doubling up? So you've got space and something else? G to throw. For some reason, I've just got G to throw on. Homework was done. I was off to bed. Don't stay up too late, you kids. I shouldn't get to hear from Mrs. Paula this time. One sixteen a.m. I got up to get some water. glass why is the music is there a light switch can I turn on the light We good? Why is the TV in debug mode? Can 
Can I can I go back to bed now or Uh Miles, who's at the who's that at the door? You there? Uh click to hide. So there's somebody at the door. Uh, Paula sent me. She said he's been creeping through the windows. As I tried pe peeking through the blinds, he looked straight at me. Uh, loud alert NPCs. Uh, we're calling the cops. You kids lock every door and hide in your room. Don't answer the door no matter what, what he does. You just broke the window. Why are you ringing the doorbell? It's Paula at the door. All right, I'm coming. Uh, or maybe not. Oh, it closed the game. Okay. Um, do I have to play the whole thing again? I'm just going to cut to, um, I'm just going to cut to the night. Oh, I didn't see this before. The door was open. Huh. So he's not here now. You go upstairs. We're almost back to bed. Mom text, uh, texts us. I look at the guy. We run upstairs. Close the door. Hide under our bed. Don't answer the door. There's Paula. There's a text message. There's 
There's the opening of the door. I'm so sorry, honey. Everything's going to be all right. She's just going to keep ringing the doorbell. Okay, there's the police. Game by rail. Survivor. Survive the first episode. Close the game. Uh, so that was all achievements. Let me open this up. Uh, so the, it was very short. It was 24 minutes. Um, very short. Um, I would have liked more if the um, the protagonist had kind of like something more to do uh, towards the end. Um, Cause the setup is really good. Like it's a 14 year old boy or a 14 year old kid um, hanging out at home while his parents are, are gone for the weekend. Um, and then uh, there's somebody creeping around uh, and somebody breaks in through the window and is hiding in the, the parents' room. Uh, a lot of like really good setup. It's very grounded, very interesting. Um, I would have liked to see if like, uh, maybe the protagonist can like open the window and slide down the, the roof or something like that. Uh, some other method of escape in which we get out of the house um, instead of just hiding under the bed and waiting for the cops. Um, if there was like a ladder or something, uh, the Clarissa, Clarissa explains it all like ladder up to the bedroom and then, uh, uh, maybe the the guy comes up and like breaks in through our room and then we've got to like figure out how to get out of the house um, or if there's like um, if you go into the parents room and you have to to figure out how to get out of the the parents room um, while the the dude is banging on the doors things like that uh, it's it's fine very short game very uh, interesting setup uh, I just wish that there was more for the protagonist too at the end so yeah uh, that's it for the first episode. I will see you in the next video for episode two. Thank you for joining me for another night of Strange and Scary Games. I love you. I will see you in the next video. Good night.